Karina University men's soccer team has been struggling to score goals so far in the 2016 season. Coming in at 3-5-1 and one to Wednesday's match against Cairn, the Cavaliers are having just over one goal per contest. But it was a freshman who really stood up and made a difference in a big offensive win. Brini warming up prior to the game, hoping that their scoring would warm up too. And early on, Bobby Kane made sure of it. The senior gets a touch here on the ball to loft it ever so gently over Cairn goalkeeper Grant Grogan, and the Cavaliers jump out to a 1-0 lead. Eight minutes later, freshman Richard Montez de Yoka slips a ball past Grogan for his first career goal, and suddenly is a 2-0 advantage. Now 3-0 in the second half, senior A.J. Bishop sends a low ball to Kane, and Kane knows exactly what to do with it, softly placing the ball in the back of the net for his second goal of the day. Bishop and Kane, the two leading scorers on the team embrace, and maybe Bishop says, hey, I want one. Because in the 57th minute, Bishop heads a Jared Irwin cross right past Grogan for the fifth goal of the day. It was Bishop's 40th career goal, extending his team leading total to six on the season. Later in the game, Montez Dioka battles with Cairns Noah Eagle Camp. They get tangled up. Who says soccer can't be physical? Montez Dioka draws the foul, earning a free kick, and on the ensuing play, senior Ben Roda places a cross right on the head of Montez Dioka, who drills it into the netting for his second goal of the day. The man teammates called Cheeky having himself a day to remember. And after scoring only 10 goals in their first nine games, Cabrini rolls over Karen 7 0. Coach Rob Dallas emphasized the importance of winning their first conference game. You know, we were, we were struggling a little bit. We had uh, two kind of emotional losses going into uh, today. And, you know, it was just so important that we came out and came out with a little fire today and built a little confidence and some momentum going into the weekend. And, you know, to get your first win, obviously, in the second game isn't ideal, but. Uh, you know, your first conference win early in the season is. So uh, to be able to get that and build on that positive momentum is important for us. So uh, big deal, big deal for us today, and we're really happy with the result. So a big win for the Cavaliers as their offense finally produces. They get their first CSAC win of the season, improved to 1-1 one -on -one in conference play, 4-5-1 and one overall. They take on Gwen and Mercy on Saturday at Gwen and Mercy, that match starting at 12 o'clock. From Edith Rob Dixon Field, I'm Brian Nessel, Local Media.